Hey everyone, the beavers have caused a muddy disaster on this road. I hope you can see that with the sun glare, what's going on. So I'm driving down here today to look at a location that we unclogged back in the summertime. We left the trail camera there for quite a while and they never built back, meaning it's a secondary pond, but they built back so much this time, so much more than before. So I'm driving over, it's a bunch of rocks, it's a pretty muddy road, icy road. It's got a lot of rough terrain. Like look right here, the road is tilted so much that on my way in here I actually slid a little bit. Yep, just slid again. Slanted road, very icy. I'm gonna get out up here and show you. The beavers have flooded the road again. They just started logging this road about a couple weeks back. Look at that beaver dam right there. I hope that's showing up. That's actually impressive. It looks really good. Driving through the flooded road. It's very soft. All messed up. What you see right now is a bunch of water that's leaking through the beaver dam causing all this ice. Now I gotta look for a place to pull over. I'm sorry, that sun glare is awful today. All right, that's much better without the sun glare. Take a look at how bad this road is. Everything you see here is leaking groundwater. It also recently rained and you see the road hasn't been maintained in a while. This road, it used to have drainage ditches. That's what this is. This used to be a drainage ditch, what they've now turned into a pond. There's a big hump right here, which is a beaver dam. And the other side of the road, this hump is here, simply just because trucks going through here, it kind of squished it down and they hasn't done maintenance in a while. I see a lot of trees cut down all over the place from the beavers. They didn't get the culvert pipe as bad as they did back in the summertime. Probably because back in the summertime, water was really hard to come by. So they had to make their dam really tight. You see, there's a good amount of water coming out of the culvert pipe right here. I don't know if we're able to unclog it or not. First off, this is the culvert pipe right here. Wow, these guys made this unclogging very easy for us. Look at this. They built the dam outside the culvert. I always love when beavers do this because a lot of cases, not here because they made it cross the road and it's causing damage, but sometimes when you're out in the middle of the woods, you find a culvert pipe. This has not much space, but it's the same type of thing. Beavers will sometimes build a big like U around it so it doesn't block capacity at all. Sometimes they can keep their pond, especially if the road is way, way up. It doesn't really matter. But the first thing I need to do is, I need to, for maybe a half an hour before I even attempt touching this, I'm going to be walking around all the swamp right here. I'm pretty sure it's a secondary pond. It was a secondary pond 100% back in the summertime because when I drained this, they didn't bother building it back for I think a few weeks or maybe even month. And... If it was a primary pond, they would have noticed that water missing immediately, started construction that night. The fact that they didn't means it was a secondary pond. It is possible that the new generation of beavers, because every time they leave the lodge, they need to find their own swamp. It's possible there could be beavers here now. I don't think so, but we're going to take a look around the swamp. A brand new lodge is going to stick out because you know new lumber is bright white. It wouldn't have faded. It wouldn't have blended in that much just being here for the past month or two. And it's also not going to be overgrown with stuff. It's not going to be that well hidden. So we're going to spend like a half an hour exploring this swamp back here. And I want to make sure there's no beaver lodge. Because in the winter time, that's a death sentence to the beavers. They literally can't move anywhere. It's too cold. They're now open to predators. Their food supply that they store underneath the ice so they don't have to leave the pond. It's now, that ice is going to sink down on top of it. They can't get to it. And they have no water either. And with the ice, they can't float things over. They literally can't make repairs to a dam this time of year. But this is something. Look at this. When we came here last time, 
Beaver Dam was like maybe a quarter of that. That's huge. That's actually impressive. Look at how they reinforced it with all these sticks. That's cool. They didn't even bother fixing the leakage because water's pretty plentiful now. I gotta say, in the summertime, there I think there was more water crossing here, less in the culvert. You can see the slit the logging company made to get rid of the puddle. At some point, it was up to here, because the water's always to the very top of the beaver dam. As it starts to top, they make it taller, taller. That's how it works. As long as they have water, they're just going to keep piling it on, making their dam bigger and bigger. But they stop construction as soon as the water starts to recede until the next rainstorm. Wow. The ice is actually strong enough to hold me. I can't believe it. That looks like a source feeding the pond right there. That drainage ditch. The edges are not stable. Oh my gosh. Yes. A brand new beaver lodge. Right here. I can't believe I didn't see that from the road. That thing sticks out so much. All right, that's your answer right there. We are not going to remove this beaver dam. We're not going to hurt the beavers. I'm going to move. I'm going to I want to walk over here closer to it, trying not to fall into the water cuz the edges are not stable because it recently went through a thaw and ice always melts from the edges. All right, it's a little marsh mushy, but we can come over. Wow. Brand new lodge. I knew there wasn't a lodge here back in the summertime because they would have rebuilt so fast. So I was definitely right about that. It's a brand new beaver lodge. Just like I said, the lumber is... its I said it's like lumber. Brand new wood is always white. It darkens as it ages. This is awesome. How many beavers do you think are in here right now? Anyways, the entrances are somewhere under the water. Like right here is an entrance and over there is an entrance. As the water level drops, like during times when there's not a lot of water, they'll actually extend the entrance down, which looks like what this is here. Yep. This is a big beaver lodge. I can't believe they built one so big in a matter of a month or so. The beavers, believe me, they can they can hear me. They do not hibernate. They rarely leave their pond this time of year. I saw them once on a trail camera years ago, walking around the snowy landscape, but that's extremely rare. They build or they build a supply of sticks to survive the winter. They cut down so many trees because their main food source is tree bark. That's why you find a lot of branches with the bark completely chewed off and then they use the wood when they're done eating to build their dams and stuff. It looks really, really cool. But they cut down hundreds of trees, store them. They sink them in the bottom of the pond to stick them in the mud. The pond freezes over. Anytime they're hungry, they just go get the wood they stored underneath. They can bring it up into their lodge. Their lodge is basically the only spot where they come up for air in the wintertime. They're not very active in the winter. That's their lazy time. They spend most of their time in the lodge. This is kind of cool. They have a little island here. And beavers, they excavate. These channels here, I wouldn't be surprised if they dug all these out. And that's not a stream or anything. By it melted right here, there's definitely a little bit of current. But they probably did a good amount of the excavation. It looks like years ago, maybe even before the logging road... The way this place is, it looks like water was much deeper at some point. Like the loggers absolutely destroyed the beaver's swamp decades ago. This looks like an old beaver swamp, the way the land is. You can tell a lot of water was through here at one point. That couldn't have recently happened because that would have meant a beaver dam like five feet over the road instead of just like two. I see all kinds of trees cut down. They took a lot of wood to build that lodge. All right, I just made a whole ruckus coming back out onto the ice. Beavers can definitely hear that. Those noises 
probably amplify a lot going through the water. This is the scary part. It's not that stable here. I gotta jump onto the edge without falling through. Not that bad. So these beavers here are definitely going to be relocated in the springtime. They're no longer building now and this, this road is going to ice up. This won't even be a problem to the loggers once they start logging this. They already have it tagged all over the place where they're going to be logging. They've already done it just a few hundred feet up the road. Maybe they're waiting for this to kind of get solid. Then they don't even have to fix the road. They come in, log it during the winter. They always log marshes and swamps in the winter time. Then it doesn't matter. They don't have to maintain the roads. Once they log it, they don't have to come in here for a few more decades. And maybe they'll just let the beavers have the place, but probably not. They're probably going to send a trapper in here regardless because that's a lot of damage that's going to be caused for the next time they come out here. So I hope you guys like this video of why we don't drain beaver ponds in the winter time. It will most likely kill the beaver because they have nowhere else to go. They're not going to be accepted in another lodge. They can't find another swamp because they're all frozen. They can't build anything because they need the water to float materials around. Beavers may be strong creatures for their size. But they need that water to bring supplies down, just like in the old days when humans used rivers and bodies of water instead of trucks and trains for moving logs to the sawmills. Basically the same thing with the beaver. They use the water to move everything. And this is why I couldn't see the beaver lodge. This side, all I'm seeing is a big snowy pile unless I actually walk through the thickets now I see it massive beaver lodge they should be good here for the winter time you know a lot of times in the summertime and through the fall the spring when I'm actually draining these beaver ponds I was told by one of the park rangers that's actually probably saving a lot of beavers' lives because beaver hunters look for flooded roads like this and they know there's active beavers in the area and that's when they set traps and they go out to shoot the beavers. But if the beaver relocator gets there first, it saves the beaver. Having the water levels lowered down actually keeps the beaver hunters away. Look at all these trails. These are beaver trails. Them going back and forth, gathering supplies, pulling more trees into the water. I want to go back out there on the ice. See? Near the edge. It's not very sturdy. Wow, it gets deep fast. Alright, this is not a good place to go out. I wanted to walk around in here a little bit, but I can't. That looks like that might be an old beaver lodge right here. Or it might just be a big clump. It could be an old rotten one. It's definitely not active anymore. This is really cool. The beavers actually built a little spillway. I love when they do that. I don't know why some beavers decide to plug the pipe. And some decide to do that. Plugging the pipe is obviously the better idea for them. It's much easier, much quicker. But that right there, a lot of times humans will deal with it and they'll just allow the beaver to stay. All right, everyone. I hope looking around at that beaver swamp was interesting. I was just trying to share some knowledge with you of why I don't remove something like that if we can prove the beavers are there. And... Uh, I hope you understand why beavers are so beneficial to the forest. It shows, especially in times like last year. Wow, look at all... I don't think you can see on the camera, but I'm driving over so much ruts and junk that the logging equipment left here. I actually want to get out and show you this. We're almost back up to the main artery. Anyways, beavers, when they build their ponds... Those ponds are really heavy. They're pushing down into the aquifers, recharging them. And as a result of recharging the aquifer, the trees don't die during droughts. 
Your wells don't run dry during droughts. It helps the whole water cycle. The last couple of years, New England has been in a drought. We're almost out of it now, but that's the same story the past three years. Every winter, we almost get out of it, but we're hoping for the best next year. Anyways, I bring that up because going around, I notice in the summertime around beaver ponds, the forest is so green and lush while everywhere else is dying. The pine trees can't take it. They just die with the extreme heat, extreme drought. But the leafy trees, for the most part, they can drop their leaves and go into a hibernation. They just call it an early winter. Then they come back out in the spring. It takes quite a few years for that to actually kill those trees. Look at these ruts. That was actually kind of fun to drive over. This is probably done by their log skid. Dragging logs out of the woods. Stacking them over there. Waiting for the log truck to come by. All this is frozen, so this is like boom, 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 boom. All over the place. But their next place that they marked to log is down there. I'm guessing they marked this right here because they know it's a swamp and they can't yet go in there. I don't even think they're going to log in there because there's really not that much wood. But further down this road, and there is no other way to get to it except through here. They have a bunch of ribbons up there, maybe half a mile or so, where they're going to be logging, I assume, over the winter time, so they don't even have to bother fixing this road. A lot of the roads are in very bad shape as far as ice. Very slippery. Hard getting out here takes a long time because you got to be very careful not to slide off the road. The first time I ever came out into this forest, there was so many beavers around causing issues, flooding out the road. But it may just be the droughts, but it seems like the beaver hunters, I mean trappers, have been really cracking down on the beavers and relocating them because... A lot of places this past year, I set up trail cameras trying to film the beavers, and we can't. They never show up. They never show up to build back. I do update videos many months later, and there's just no beavers. They never came back to rebuild. They're really doing a lot of trapping. Like, I remember some years past, I would go there, unclog it, be back the next day. Unclog it, it was back the next day. It would just keep happening until the trapper eventually got there. Now it's actually semi getting hard to find active beaver swamps because they're relocating them deeper in the woods. And I don't know, maybe the, the National Forest Service is actually relocating some of them out west because I know out west they are introducing many thousands of beavers every year to the west to try to combat the drought. The same reason why beavers are important here. We got to live with them, not get rid of them because you see what happens without them. There's not enough water. It causes forest fires. It's just a disaster. We need them to retain water during floods because think about it. Beavers hold water in a drought, but in through the entire drought, through the entire summer, their ponds are slowly losing water, meaning they have capacity to work as a retention pond. They can stop major flooding from happening too because they can hold back all that water. A beaver dam itself may not be that big, but in the right spot, they can hold up hundreds of millions of gallons of water. It's not common, but think about a beaver building a dam every couple hundred feet to up the entire river. That can hold back so much water, it works as rip wrap. A lot of times beaver dams are very strong. It's rare when I find one that actually fails in a storm. It's not that common. They build them good. They build them to last. And I hope today's video was interesting everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.